Hello and welcome to the Crypto Rocket channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set up these desktop widgets for the crypto ticker. We have the usage monitor showing you the CPU and GPU usage and disk read writes and also the RSS reader where you can add any RSS feed you want. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot and turn notifications on. I'm going to be doing a 1000 subscriber giveaway, which is 250 Zill or Zillica currently worth about $50 and the price seems to be going up as well. So look out for that one. First things first, I'm just going to uninstall the software, which is called rain meter. And then I want to go through how to download, install it and how to set it up. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is go to the rain meter website, rainmeter.net, and you want to download, I'd recommend downloading 431 final release and not the beta version. So download this version. I've already downloaded this, so I'll go ahead and install it. So standard installation, launch RainMeter on startup and run RainMeter now, finish. So I'll go ahead and start RainMeter. You can see in the bottom, we have RainMeter here. So it may default load a skin um for me it hasn't because i already installed it so you're probably going to get this illustrio skin uh, by default with the welcome which will look like this <clears throat> and give you a guide how to use it so we don't actually want to use that skin uh we want to use a different skin so i've made my own skin which I uploaded to my github so if you go over to my github which i'll link again in the description you can download this crypto rocket desktop RM skin. So if we download this file, put it on the desktop for now. Once the file is downloaded, you just need to double click it. And you want the skin and the layout. So the skin will include all of the widgets and the layout is basically telling it where you want them to be placed on the screen, the size, etc. So just apply everything for now, install. And there we are. I've got all the widgets back. So just delete that file. So how does this work? Let's go back into rain meter. So you can find it from the tray at the bottom. It looks like a rain droplet. It's called rain meter. And if you double click it, it will open. This is the skin, the skin folder that we have active In active skins. We can see we have cryptocurrencies, RSS reader and usage monitor. They're all any files, configuration files. And these are the ones that we have active. So if we go to cryptocurrencies and go unload, it will disappear. And we also have my layout, which is the layout that I've defined. So if we load that, it will put everything back. We have other different widgets in here. I didn't make any of these. I've just made a customized dashboard for them. So if you wanted to enable any of these, I'll just give you an example as different things in here. Um, say you wanted something like the media control, go over to the INI file. So you can have like now playing, go to load I'm saying no player detected because I've not got anything running like windows media or Spotify. Um, there's other things on here as well, like, um, you can get system info if you wanted that. I mean, RainMeter can really, so it's giving me my desktop name and the windows and everything. RainMeter can really load anything. Uh, but the three that I like to use from this pack are their usage, the cryptocurrencies and the RSS reader. So let's go on at how we can modify these. So each one you can click on. So if you click on CPU, it's actually going to give you a breakdown of all the processes using CPU, top 10 CPU, same with the GPU. And the cryptocurrencies, if you click on them, it will open it up in the browser. So all the stats are coming from cryptonator.com. Uh, and it's giving you basically all of the prices from here using the API. But if we want to change, just say you don't want BTC. These are just some coins that I've picked. You can go to the settings. And then you have the scale, which you can make bigger. See, it just makes the widget actually bigger. Uh, opacity that's how see-through it is so you can make it more or less 
So opacity, you can make that completely see-through, so you can see the background, so there's no border. Some people might like that. Um, or I keep it with the background, so 255. Then entries, so I've only got five entries. Uh, you can make that as many as you want. You don't Again, you don't have to have RSS reader or use this monitor. And the refresh rate is seconds, so every 60 seconds it will refresh. So currency one, BTC USD. So for example, if I wanted to change that and I want link, for example, I would just put the ticker link and then it will update and now I've got the price of link. So really you can just do this with, you know, anything that you want. Um, uh, BCH, Bitcoin Cash, um, maybe you want XRP. You can just put the ticker in and it will load. Uh, you can see it's pretty instant as well. Um, so you can customize it with, which, with whichever coins you want. It's very easy to do and then the amount of decimal points you want. So this just depends on how you want it to look. So that's very simple to use. The RSS reader. So we have the settings scale, width, height and opacity. Uh, how many entries? So I've got four entries for the news. Uh, free refresh rate is 300, so that's seconds again. So I don't need it to be refreshing as much because, you know, news articles, you, you don't need them in real time. And the RSS URL, so I'm using newsbtc.com slash feed, but you can put any RSS feed in there. Uh, and then you can pick the tags that you want it to display as well. So that's really very simple how you can use it. If we make any changes, so for example, let's make BTC uh, a link. And then let's go back to the rain meter. Uh, and then we want to save the layout. We'll go to the layout. And we press save here. So you can do save as empty, exclude, unloaded, include current wallpaper. Um, again, you can have different layouts with different wallpapers if you want to. I just prefer just to manage only the widgets here. So I'm going to save my layout. It says, do you want to replace it? Yes. Uh, and then if I load a different one, so I load the default layout and then I go back to my layout. We'll see that it now has link instead of BTC. So very simple to use. Nice quick video there for you guys. If you like the content, please subscribe to the channel. Again, we've got the giveaway coming at 1,000 subscribers, 250 zil. And we've got some more great content planned. Thank you.